Hello, welcome to another video on Cilium. In my last video, which I released a week ago, um, we saw how to deploy Cilium in the Kind Kubernetes cluster. So Kind is a Kubernetes cluster based on Docker containers. And we followed the Cilium getting started documentation, quick start installation kind of documentation and followed them step by step. We deployed, we created the Kind cluster, we downloaded the Cilium CLI and we used the Cilium CLI tool to deploy Cilium into the Kubernetes cluster. And then we saw how to run Cilium commands and a few other things, right? So we're gonna do the same thing again in this video, but this video is all about deploying Cilium in a Kubeadium provisioned cluster. And I know some of you might be using my Vagrant scripts to provision Kubernetes cluster. And in my Vagrant scripts, uh, the cluster provisioned is using Kubeadium and then I used Calico as the overlay networks as the cluster CNI. I used to use Flannel, but I switched to using Calico because it has got more networking features than Flannel. Flannel is kind of basic, so I switched to using Calico. And in this video, let's see how to deploy Cilium in a Kubernetes provisioned cluster uh, using my Vagrant scripts. And I'll show you what you need to change in my Vagrant scripts to get Cilium deployed in the Kubernetes cluster instead of Calico. So I'm not going to repeat everything I said in this video, in the first video, uh, because it's all going to be the same. All I wanted to show you is the change in the scripts, in the Vagrant scripts that you need to do in order to get Cilium installed. So for those of you who haven't watched my first video, I would strongly advise you to watch that video uh, and then come back to this video, all right? So on the terminal here, I have logged into my Arch Linux server and I'm going to uh, bring up the cluster, right? So first thing first, let's do, let's git clone my Kubernetes GitHub repository. I'll put a link to the GitHub repository, Cilium documentation and whatever I use in the video description if you want to use it. All right, let's go into Kubernetes and then to the Vagrant provisioning. And in here I have the bootstrap Kmaster, Bootstrap, Kworker, and everything. And let me open this in a text editor. So all you have to do here is go to the Bootstrap Kmaster script. And you know the task three here, which deploys the Calico networks. I've got a couple of uh, commands here to deploy Calico network. All we are going to do is just comment out these two lines. So basically what we're trying to do here is to deploy a Kubernetes cluster using Kubeadium, but without any overlay or CNI network. So basically the cluster will be non-operational. You'll have a cluster, but you won't be able to run anything on the cluster until you deploy CNI. So we're gonna have a blank cluster without a CNI and then we will deploy Cilium on top of it. Okay, let's save that. And then do Vagrant up minus minus provider libvirt because I'm on a Linux host and I prefer using KVM libvirt over to VirtualBox. And if you're using uh, VirtualBox, then just do Vagrant up. And then in a matter of three to four minutes, you will have a cluster with three nodes, one master node and two worker nodes, all right? So let me pause the video here and come back when the all the nodes are up and running. Okay, the command completed and it took four minutes and 50 seconds. All right, so if I do Vagrant status, all right, we have all the virtual machines running. So I'm going to make dot cube directory under my home directory and I'm going to scp etc kubernetes admin dot conf to config a file under dot cube directory which I just created. Yes and the password is cube admin. Okay so that's copied if I do which k so k is alias to cube color which is uh, a tool that I normally use so that you get colorized output for all the kubectl commands. So whenever I type K, I'm actually typing cube color, which is a wrapper script around kubectl. Okay, so kubectl cluster info. So we have a cluster running, kubectl get nodes. Okay, so as expected, we have a cluster, but none of the nodes are ready because we haven't got the uh, CNI deployed. And if I do kubectl get pods dash a, and you can see the core DNS pods are all in the pending state. So which is kind of expected. And now we are going to deploy Cilium. All right, so let's go to the documentation. If I open Cilium.io, go to the docs, Cilium, and then Cilium quick start installation on the left. 
and kind. So that is the so this this is the documentation that we followed in the last video we deployed. We created kind. We downloaded the Cilium CLI tool for Linux, and if you are using Mac, and here are the set of commands that you need to run. Okay, so as I'm in Linux, I'm just going to copy these commands. I might actually have Cilium already installed, which Cilium, yes, I do, because uh, I still have the setup from my previous video where I installed this. So I'm on the same server, so I haven't cleaned up after my last video, which I usually do, so I still have the Cilium installed, so I'm not going to run this command again. All right, so we have Cilium, if I do Cilium version minus minus client, it's version 0.15.23. Okay, so we have Cilium CLI. We have a blank Kubernetes cluster, and all we have to do is just install Cilium. And the way to install is using the Cilium install command. And specifically, if you want to specify any version, then you pass the minus minus version option, uh, 1.15.1. If you don't pass that option, if you just do Cilium install, I think Cilium help install by default it installs version 1.15.0 okay so if you don't pass the minus minus version option so let's do cilium install minus minus version 1.15.1 so i'm basically following this documentation so just find out what's the latest cilium version is and then you can go ahead and install um, cilium okay so let's do that. So this is not the only way to install or deploy Cilium in your cluster. You can also use Helm. So I have Helm repo list. So I haven't got any Helm, uh, but uh, you can also use Helm things. So maybe I can show uh, how to deploy Cilium using Helm in my next video. But for now, we'll use Cilium. I prefer using Cilium CLI, uh, which is kind of easy. Okay. So let's go ahead and do Cilium install minus minus version 1.15.1 okay so auto detected cluster name kubernetes auto detected Q proxy using cilium version so now i can do cilium status and it says one error three warnings it's all okay because it's all being deployed at the moment so cilium operator is getting deployed uh, cilium daemon set is getting deployed so we have three nodes in the cluster so the daemon set deploys one on each node so we have three unavailable is three pod is pending that's fine and if you want to run so actually you can run cilium status dash dash wait so that it doesn't show you the error but it will just wait until the cilium is completely deployed into the cluster okay so cilium status so we have we still have one error three warnings we haven't uh we, ha we haven't enabled hubble which we will do in one of the upcoming videos. Okay, Cilium status. Okay, so okay, one warning, what's the warning? Hubble server not initialized. So that's fine because we haven't deployed Hubble yet. Okay, so everything is okay, Cilium is okay, operator is okay, um, we haven't deployed Hubble, no envoy, no cluster mesh. The warning is gone. Okay, so I think everything is looking good. Containers all are running. Deployment is fine, daemon set is fine. And now let's do kubectl get nodes. Cool, so all the nodes are in the ready state. kubectl get pods dash A. And previously we had these two pods that were in the pending state. So now they're all running because we have a working networking in our cluster, okay? So like what we do usually, we will just do a, a quick testing by spinning up an nginx pod and then accessing it using node port service just to make sure networking is fine and there is also this cilium uh, network what is it networking test let's check the documentation so once you deploy to validate uh, whether everything has been deployed correctly there's this command that you can run cilium connectivity test which in my last video, it took about 12 minutes, I guess. So it will take around 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your uh, internet connection and your processor speed and etc. So we will do that. But before that, let's do our usual quick testing. So kubectl create deploy nginx, kubectl get all, container is getting created, kubectl expose deploy nginx as node port. Let's do that, kubectl get all. The container is running and we have this port here which is the node port 
Right, so I can do curl 172.16.16.100 colon noteboard. So that's the IP address of my uh, control plane. Okay, so we have the Nginx welcome page. I can do the same with kworker1, we get the Nginx welcome page. And finally, kworker2, and we get the Nginx welcome page. So that concludes my testing. So let's delete that, kubectl delete everything and now I'm going to run Cilium connectivity test all right so like I said it's going to take 10 to 15 minutes so I'm going to pause the video and come back when the test has been completed okay so Cilium connectivity test command completed it took 12 minutes and 4 seconds it ran 47 tests all of them are successful some of them are skipped one scenarios skipped Okay, so I think that concludes this video. Let me again recap what I did, right? So if I open the text editor, all you have to do is change the bootstrap kmonster shell script and then toss3, just comment out the two commands under toss3. So that will uh, stop the Vagrant script from deploying the Calico. And then once the cluster is provisioned, you use the Cilium CLI tool to deploy Cilium into your cluster, all right? So let's do Vagrant Destroy and delete all our virtual machines. And that is it for this video. I will see you all in my next video. Until then, keep learning and keep on learning. Bye-bye.